Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, uh, education, uh, information, guidance, and advice to converts, Noahides, and people who are returning to uh, uh, to Judaism. And um, at the time of this recording, we're just after we're in the intermediary days uh, of Passover. Um, the Cholmoid. Uh, wishing everyone a get the Moed. And I'm um, struck by some people, some families, no matter how secular, no matter how assimilated, no matter how part of the world they are, they may not keep Sabbath, they may not keep kosher. Uh, Judaism may, to them, be something that they don't ever really think about. Uh, they're not observant, not even the least. But when it comes to Passover, they'll do a Seder. They'll do a Passover Seder. No matter how far they may have strayed, for one or two nights, they will get together an evening and have a Passover Seder and recite the words that we've been reciting for 3,330 some odd years. And I'm reminded of an interpretation of a line in Shir Shirim, the Song of Songs, the Song of King Solomon. In it is there's some beautiful uh, images, romantic images. Uh, comparing, uh, you know, spoken uh, by the lover uh, to his or her love. And um, one of them is, um, your eyes are like doves. And it was uh, Harav Chaim Berlin who interpreted it as follows. He said, the curious thing about the dove, when a dove builds a nest, it will only fly as far as it can still see the nest you know, in its sight. It may f uh, go far away, far away, but as long as it's within eyesight, it won't stray farther than that. And um, it has to keep the nest um, in sight. Similarly, um, this is true of the Jewish people. Um, an individual Jew will at times stray. Bali Shuva, the converts, the, the uh, sorry, returnees uh, to Judaism, you know what I'm talking about. Um, they will stray, they'll surrender to temptation, uh, modern times, evil influences, and stray away from the Creator stray away from Judaism. But, Chas Shalom, you never stray beyond the path, beyond the point of no return. There's always Yiddishkeit, uh, God, Judaism, is always within sight. You can always, always return. Um, that nest is your center, the, the your, um, your Jewish soul, whether you're born a Jew or a convert, which is basically a Jewish soul trying to find trying to find its way back home. Um, that spark of God, that spark from God, um, that's like a little kind of a homing device, and it will if you listen to it it will call you back to the nest. It will call you back home. Um, I'm reminded of a, of a short verse in um, Deuteronomy uh, in 32.6 where it says of God, is he not your father, your master? There's a connection between the most assimilated um, Jewish soul and the truth. 
um, when the Chabad rabbi in my little corner of the great white north came here some 12 years ago, basically in the wilderness as far as Judaism was concerned. It's not a lot, not a lot of uh, Jews and no observant Jews. It's basically just, and in those days, just me and him. And he did a Purim uh, festival uh, get-together. He wasn't expecting many people, but dozens and dozens, 10, 20, 30, 50, 60, 100 people showed up, and even he was surprised. He says, where are these, where are these people coming from? And my opinion was, and I told him, no matter how far away a Jewish soul may stray, no matter how assimilated, no matter how secular, that Yiddish neshama, that, that spark from God, it recognizes the emiss, it recognizes truth, and it knows truth. They may not decide to do it for themselves, they, they may not keep kosher, they may not go to synagogue, they may not do anything else, but when they want to do something Jewish, when they go to shul, when they go to synagogue, they will go to an Orthodox synagogue. When something is to be done, a Seder, they may eat treif all year round, but at the Seder, they'll make a point of having kosher food. It's like, it's like the, um, the eyes of the dove. No matter how far you may stray, that nest is always in sight, and it always can call you back. You can always fly back, and um, we're waiting for you. Um, we will welcome you. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you find them inspiring. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.